Okay, so you know already how to do long multiplication, which is good. Well, this these work these questions are all about estimation. So um, estimation, we just seventy two times nineteen is the same as seventy times. Well, it's not the same, but it's similar to seventy times twenty, which is be fourteen hundred. So fourteen hundred is an estimate of what we would get. Then we actually try to work it out accurately if that was what it was asking us to do. Then this is the long multiplication way of doing it. I'm to be to be honest with you, I'm a bit rusty with long multiplication because I don't do that anymore. I use this method. Um, so this method is very useful to learn because it's what is the method you're going to be learning in algebra as well. So what you can do is you take the 72 and you chop it up into 70 and 2. And you take 19 and you chop it up to 10 uh, plus 9. And then you're going to just basically look at all the different combinations of multiplying all four numbers. And there will be four different combinations. You don't multiply the 7 by the 2. It's always one, one something from one bracket multiplied by something from the other bracket. And so the first term, 70 times 10, is 700. The second term, 2 times 9, is 18. The third, 2 times 10, is 20. And the fourth, 70 times 9, is 630. Then we add them all up, and of course we get the same number as before. One other method you could choose if you wanted is uh, the grid method. Now, if you follow it properly, you'll see that the grid method is basically the same as what I just did here, and basic, very similar to what you've done there. But So instead of writing 70, I write 70 and 2. Instead of writing 19, I write 10 and 9. And each box will be these numbers here. 70 times 10 is my 700. 7 times 9, that's my 630. 2 times 10 is the 20. 2 times 9 is 18. And just like I did here, you add them all up and you, and you again you get 6, uh, 1368. So how is this similar? How is this going to help us to prepare for algebra? Well, let's imagine we had... Um, oh, one second. Let me just pause this. So let's imagine we didn't have numbers, but instead we had letters. <laughs> so we do the same sort of thing as we did before. We multiply all the different combinations. So let's say that's our first combination. And then we can do uh, that as our second combination. It doesn't really matter what order you do this in. So, but I'm doing going to do it like this. So our first one would be A times C, which is AC. Our second one is B times D, which is BD. Our third one is A times D, which is AD. And our, whoops, I'm saying it equals. And our fourth one, let's do plus. Our fourth one is B times C, which is BC. So this is called expanding brackets. Actually, it's expanding double brackets, and you'll do more of that later on. But it's a good little if you had a, if you just fancied playing around, it's a good way to practice it is by trying to do it with any two numbers. So why don't we just do just have a go just have a practice of that now? So we'll do fifty nine times uh, twenty seven. I'm going to do that in the double brackets expanding method. I'm just going to pause the video. I want to see if you can work out how to do that. Okay, good. So, yeah, that's spot on. So, you just um, you work out what 50 times 50 times 20 is, 50, uh, 9 times, you know, you do all the different combinations. And there they are there. And you add them all up, 1593. Uh, and that's the answer. Um, so, and then we also had to go at estimating it as well. Well, 59 becomes 60, um, and 27 becomes 30, it gives us 1,800. So it's, it's a fair bit, it looks like a fair bit below 1,800. But really, it's just a little bit more than 200 below. Which is a, um, that's not too much of a surprise, because 59 is below 60, and 27 is below 30. So we're expecting a number below 1,800. So in your exam, if you were trying to do a sum, and it was a bit tricky, then you can always in your head if it's quick and easy to do do an estimate from for it and then 
from there, you know roughly what to expect the answer. So if you if you got an answer something like twelve hundred or or uh, I don't know eight hundred or nine hundred, then you would know that mm, this doesn't look, look look correct. Okay, all right, I'll stop that video now then.